And I just want to add, it is so nice outside today, guys. It is so beautiful and I got to work all day. Hey guys, Natty B after cancer. Before we even get started, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Your sister's trying to get her numbers up. I'm passionate about educating about the breast cancer experience for a person who was diagnosed under the age of 35. Um, and really just kind of shed light and really illuminate on what the experience is like for any individual who is diagnosed with something such as breast cancer. So today we're going to be talking about Oncotype score. You're probably wondering what in the world is an Oncotype score or you've heard of what that is or you've heard of it before and you're not sure if it's something you should ask your doctor about. So let's get started. So the Oncotype test is something that um, provides genomic or genomic information to help with your treatment decision. They look at 21 different genes that are tested and after taking a look at those 21 genes, um, they interpret the results um, and look at a scale of zero to 100 to determine if you will benefit from chemotherapy or not benefit from chemotherapy. So it really just takes a look at, you know, is chemo going to have more benefits um, than side effects or will it be vice versa or are you kind of in that gray area? In addition to this test predicting uh, what your response will be to chemotherapy, it also looks at your recurrence rate. Um, so your doctor, after doing this test for you will be able to give you like this percentage based on your um, your chemo, your tumor and all of that stuff as well as your Oncotype score. What is the likelihood of your cancer returning if you do or do not have chemotherapy? So from my understanding, this test is actually only um, ordered for anyone who is uh, stage one through stages 3A of breast cancer. And it's so common now that it's actually become standard care. It is only available for those who have estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. So this test is not and will not be ordered for triple negative breast cancer. All right, so if you are under the age of 50, like I was when I was diagnosed, the scale looks different from uh, those who are 50 and over when diagnosed. So again, like I said, you are on the scale from zero to 100, and I'm gonna share with you um, what the brackets look like and what they mean. So if you fall on zero to 15, that means that chemotherapy is going to have very little benefit to you. And in fact, the side effects will outweigh the benefits of chemotherapy. And if you fall on zero to 15, your doctor will probably tell you that you will not and don't need chemotherapy. If you fall on the scale from 16 to 20, that is a low to medium recurrence risk factor. And so your doctor will say, mm, you fall in that gray era. Chemo won't really benefit you. The side effects will probably outweigh the chemo. Uh, the, the side effects will probably outweigh the benefits of chemo. And so, eh, you know, doing chemo won't necessarily hurt you that bad but you're not gonna get that much benefit out of it and your recurrence rate is really low to medium. If you fall on the 21 to 25, you are at a medium risk of uh, cancer recurrence. And so chemotherapy will benefit you kind of equally to uh, the side effects that you're going to experience. So here is kind of where doctors will say, it's really up to you. You can benefit from chemo and if you don't do chemo, if you are to do hormonal therapy, you are kind of still in that safe zone. Now, if you fall on the scale for uh, 26 to 100, that means you are at high risk of your cancer returning and having chemotherapy is actually of great benefit. And not doing chemotherapy, I mean, kind of just really puts you in a place where, um, again, the chances of recurrence are extremely grave and heightened. Now, of course, at the end of the day, it is yours. It was my decision to decide whether or not I'm going to do chemo. Um, but again, if you fall on that scale on this Oncotype score test, it means that you, again, between 26 and 100, you have a really high chance of your cancer returning. Now, what was my score? 33. I fell on the high end of a 
of a uh, recurrence of my cancer returning. So hearing that number, I remember sitting there just praying that I was going to be on the up, you know, opposite end of that and so that I wouldn't have to have chemo or that it wouldn't be suggested. But here I was hearing my oncologist tell me you're 33. So from that point, you know, just again, being in that emotional turmoil, we had to start discussing uh, different um, you know, chemotherapy options. And now because of my age and because of the greater the tumor and all that other stuff, um, and because it was estrogen receptor positive, um, and I hadn't gone through menopause yet, my doctor wanted to target it and attack this head on. So he actually put me through the most stringent chemotherapy regimen that there at least was at that time. So, um, so yeah, that's what the Oncotype score is. So really short video. If you are not sure, whether you should have this or not, or if your doctor hasn't brought it up, I would encourage you to ask your doctor about it, especially if you're estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. Again, this is not tested on triple negative breast cancer, only estrogen receptor positive. So um, again, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for listening. I'm again so passionate about educating. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch Natty B After Cancer. Till next time.